All right, I need to stop being so vulgar just for the sake of being vulgar. Who do I think I am? I didn't have an example there. I'm just asking who do I think I am? That was too close. Thanks, Daddy. As long as I have my trident, I will not tolerate those creatures inside this- I love how cheery the music is, despite the very serious overtones of this scene. Daddy? Oh, <laughs> it's such a jarring juxtaposition. Dangerous out there. Yeah, Strange idiot. Lurk outside. Called humans. <laughs> Behold, you swim before the ruler of the seas. His Majesty King, King Neptune. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, that's right, Triton. My bad. Who are they? They helped us fight off those creatures. They don't look familiar. We're from an ocean. Okay, I just realized how the background's kind of like warping and weaving, so like you can simulate being underwater. And um, oh my God, it's giving me a bit of a head trip. There's no such thing. Certainly not here. But Daddy. That's not suspicious at all, King Triton. Another word. You are not to leave the palace. Is that clear? It's just like the movie. Except she's not horny. She's just in trouble. Perhaps I'm being too strict. Oh, you think? Maybe just a little bit? I'm just concerned for her safety. Said every abusive parent ever. Of course, Your Majesty. Oh, shut Your the fuck Majesty. up, Sebastian, you little narc. Curious about this keyhole. That need not concern you, Sebastian. Right? Mind your own damn business. Just as you suspected, Your Majesty, they seem to be coming from Ursula's Kurato. I knew it. That sea witch is up to no good again. I see exile from the palace has taught her nothing. Yes, she poses serious danger. I mean, when does exile ever work? Like Napoleon literally reconquered France after being in exile. So I don't know if that's explicitly true, but it sounds right. So I'm just going to roll with it. Ah, no, I'm not ready yet. Hang on. Oh, I swear to God, like the minute I hit record on OBS, all of my nasal passages just like unload their entire payload. Like, oh, hey, is it time to be running now, guys? Let's all run. Let's go. Let's run. Let's run. We're going to run a fucking marathon. Ah, it's so aggravating. And then I, I, I start getting all nasally and stuff, but I can't really. Uh, I hate the sound of my own voice at that point. Ugh, I hate it. In my grotto, I want to show you something. Whoa, Ariel, yo, it's not like that. Look, we're friends, okay? We just met. Like, we literally just met. Hey, it's our friend the dolphin. We gotta, okay, we, you have to ride him in this, in this right here. You explicitly have to, otherwise you're gonna have a bad time. And you really need to go around for one lap. It's real fun though. I like riding the dolphin. Oh yeah, ride the dolphin. That's my new song, it's called Ride the Dolphin. It'll be in stores, um, never. Oh yeah, so, um, remember those small guys that I hated? Uh, have a bigger one, why don't you? Like, Jesus fucking Christ. And they're always accompanied by the screwdrivers. It's, well, not always. I don't think they're always accompanied by them, but they are frequently accompanied by them. And if you do not kill them in a certain way, they will, uh, when they die, they will just spawn four more of their little uh, aqua tank buddies. And I hate them. I hate them. I hate them. I hate them. Okay, I need to be more careful here. I'm fortunate I have not uh, taken a header just yet. <laughs> things, are, things have been going pretty well, all things considered. Even though I've been re relatively careless about things, I'm getting a little bit cocky. Honestly, I think the power of uh, Bloodborne and uh, Dark Souls and Dark Souls 3 and uh, all that has been coursing through me lately. You're really making me a bit, you know, up my own ass. I need to fix that. I need, to, uh, I, I, I need a good ego check. It's the place where she sings the song. You want thingamabobs? She's got like 20. Look at all the wonderful things Flounder and I've collected. I think it's all from the outside world. Someday I'm going to see what's out there. I want to see other worlds. Does that sound strange? 
It sounds fucking ridiculous, okay? Listen, there are no other worlds. Stay on your own planet, lady. No, not at all. I used to feel the same way. Used to? I mean, <laughs> I still do. You fucking Mitch Hedberg piece of shit, Sora. <laughs> I forgot that line is in there. I used to feel the same way. I still do, but I used to too. <laughs> you fucking asshole, get out of here. Hey, why don't we try looking for that keyhole you were talking about? But like your father said, oh, he treats me like a little girl and he never wants to let me do anything. He just, he just doesn't understand. It seems Ariel is every girl who listened to My Chemical Romance in 2009. <laughs> I, don't know, I, don't, I don't even know if that's an accurate year to be referencing, but you know, whatever. I just kind of lean into it these, like these days. I'm so off on all of my uh, time scales. My, the spectrum of time is very uh, odd to me. I often have trouble keeping track of things just uh, mentally. Chronologically, I should say. I don't know. I'm, listen, listen, I'm rambling. I'm rambling. We came to the grotto. We did the thing. We saw the story progress. We can't go up top because, you know, reasons for some reason. This has an outlet to the surface, but there is no actual surface. So I, I guess, you know, just explain that, scientists. <laughs> Fucking Ariel's Grotto. How does that work? Oh, it's these squidgy fucks. I hate them. That's what you say. But the girl could prove useful. And I've got a heartless <laughs> on my side. Triton, my old friend. <laughs> Your day is All I'm thinking of is <laughs> Ursula being that kid. I have the power of God and anime on my side. And honestly, I, I, that kid is such a mood. That kid is such a mood. So the reason that we needed to ride our little dolphin buddy earlier is for this area right here. Because if you do not ride him previously, he will not be here for you to use. And you need to use him here, which I'll show you why in just a second. What's the deal with these fucking enemies? Stay away from me. That's my purse, I don't know you. Now a little sneaky trick I like to do, instead of killing all the heartless in the area, is just wait here by a spot where he, you know he'll come through. And then you can just kind of bypass everybody, easy peasy. Hey, I'm stupid by the way. This is not the place where we needed to ride him at. This is just outside of Ariel's Grotto. Listen, 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 listen. Okay, listen. My bad. <laughs> okay, okay. Think, where? do we need to go now? I always forget right around this part. Well, since we don't know exactly where to go, we might as well explore a little bit. I'm not even gonna, you know, I'm just, I'm just not, I'm just gonna not even gonna. They can deal with that on their own. Uh, fuck those enemies. We're gonna do a little bit of a exploration, seeing if we can find anything good. Hey, this is where, this is where they sing the song and Sebastian does the thing. I need to get a, I need to get a new style of humor other than being fake uh, flabbergasted. <gasps> this is the place where they do the what? It's, it's, it's the stupidest thing. I'm sorry for subjecting you guys to that. I'm trying to be a little bit more self-aware, a little bit more um, focused, I guess. We'll see how it turns out. Um, so that was a whole lot of nothing. So I think I know exactly where we need to go actually now that I think about it, because it was what I was talking about with the dolphin. Listen, I had a brief interruption of my train of thought and things went all wonky and wacky but we did need to ride that dolphin by gosh by god golly we needed to ride that dolphin um oh we do have all the magic now but i'm not gonna do these guys just yet sorry white mushroom buddies uh maybe next time uh have i gotten this one yet probably so yes okay so we're in familiar territory like i said i get kind of twisted and turned around in Atlantica, it's a very topsy-turvy kind of place. It's not exactly intuitive. So if y'all notice that dolphin just swimming by, yeah, that's why we needed to uh, use him earlier, which I already explained. I'm gonna explain it again, gush, go good golly gosh. It's, uh, if you don't swim on him in the undersea gorge outside of Ariel's Grotto, you will not be able to utilize him to get forward in the story. He's a very integral part of the story, the dolphin is. He's a good boy too, you know, he deserves, he deserves treats. 
Look at this. Look at this. Look at this anime character right here. Look at this anime death pose. Oh my god, I love it. I wish I could make that the uh, the thumbnail for the uh, series because holy shit, that was amazing. That looks so cool. That was a complete Masuka death pose. Oh my god. Kingdom Hearts always, always amazes. Or I should say it never ceases to amaze. So we're going the explicit opposite direction of the Tritons this time. And we can't go through where the water's gushing out, fucking obviously. Uh, where's our buddy? Where's our buddy at? I know he's out here. I know you're here. There he is. There he is. So yeah, a uh, little trick. Like I said, clear out the heartless enemies in one area first. And then you should be good to go without having to clear out every single heartless. Because, you know, if you're not... If you're in an area where heartless are uh, spawning currently, or if you're in a battle, I should say, then you can't use the dolphin because you can't use reaction commands. And it's it sucks. This is what I was talking about, by the way, how um, that guy exploded into more of his guys. And uh, yeah, that's why I hate the enemy. Any enemy that does that is immediately on my shit list of enemies. Least favorite type of enemy in any game, uh, by and large. Oh, just die already. And like, I'm, I'm used to being a little bit more overpowered than I am right now. I typically power level before getting here. But you know what? That doesn't make for good TV. So, which honestly, does anything I do make for good TV? Probably not, but you know what? Who the fuck cares? Okay, so our dolphin buddy is swimming around, jolly as you like. So grab on, and we don't need to worry about any more of the Heartless in the area. Let's go. And see, he's very important because he's a strong swimmer. We're not very strong swimmers. You know, we're very, we're very uh, intermediate, but he's got no problem going up this uh, water jet right here. He'll take us all the way to, uh, all the way where we need to go. It's pretty, uh, pretty handy. He's a pretty cool guy. And you know what the best part is? He doesn't even ask for cab fare. He's such a nice guy. He just does it out of the goodness of his own heart. We got an ability, by the way, which I'm going to equip immediately, a uh, Leaf Bracer, which it just l allows you to keep going when you, w with your cure. You, you know how I've been, uh, when I jump and then land on the ground and it kind of cancels the cure for me? Yeah, it, it stops that from happening. And there's a couple things that we can go ahead and take off because we don't, we're not really concerned. Uh, I don't really use guard as much as I use stun impact. So I'm gonna take guard off. Controversial opinion, I know, but We'll get it. We'll get more AP eventually. Leaf Bracer is much more imperative. It is so good. I'm just gonna go ahead and clean up a few more. Uh, a few more of these too. Why did I have MP Rage already equipped on Donald? That's so stupid of me. Uh, okay. Does Ariel still have any items left? No, of course not. I forgot to. I forgot to steal her items from her. Okay, I'm sorry. My bad. Whoa, hey. So that's how you undo all the progress you just made right there. Oopsie poopsie. Waiting for my dolphin friend to hitch a ride to the calm depths. It's not really the calm depths. It's a whole new area. Kingdom Hearts is a fun game to play and I really like it. I can't improv a song at all. I can't improv a song at all. I'm so bad at it. I don't even try to do it. Okay, listen, I'm done. That's all you get for free, folks. And honestly, I should probably be paying y'all for subjecting you to that. I'm sorry. I got bored waiting on the fucking dolphin, okay? All right. To the sunken ship. This is where they meet. The oh, shit. Oh, I just remember. Okay. Yeah. I knew what was coming. I just kind of, it was not in the forefront of my mind, unfortunately. And now it is, and I'm dreading it. Ugh, I hate this upcoming fight. I, I, I should stop being so dramatic. It's really not that bad. I'm just a drama queen. Anyone that knows me in real life will attest to that. I'm very dramatic. It's, I have a flair for the dramatique, if you will. It's a real problem I have. Oh, 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 spoiler. I kind of spoiled something there, but you know what? We don't, it's just, it's, it's okay. We can forget about that for now. What's this? Huh? Yeah, well, that'll come in handy later. We'll understand what that is in the future. I'm just, I'm, listen. I got that explorative nature about me, okay? I'm going I'm going through finding things I shouldn't be finding. It's just, it's in my nature. I can't help. Let's go into the sunk. Oh, what was that, I wonder? 
I mean, if you've seen the movie, you fucking know. If you play the game, you know. If 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 you're like, if you have a single brain cell, you'll know. Look at this. Look at this very distinct camera angle too. Like they, they knew what they were setting up here. Okay. Well, oh God, no! It's a shark. Ah! He's gonna eat me. Ah! He's a big fat shark. He's big, and he's fat. Okay. Okay. Maybe I shouldn't be. Maybe I shouldn't body shame the shark. Maybe that's why he's so pissed off. Maybe every day he deals with people doing the same shit to him. Hmm. This shape really reminds me of something. Like maybe that shark has just had it had it up to uh had it up to up to his little man titties, and he's tired of being pushed around by all the other sharks. Uh oh yeah, little secret right here in case you didn't know. Uh, go below the decks to get some goodies, a single goodie, a single mithril. I can't say. Mithril, without saying it like that, ever since watching The Lord of the Rings, um, again. It's just, it just rolls off the tongue so much better. It sounds much more, uh, fantastical. A Mithril Shard compared to a Mithril Shard or a Mithril Shard. I'm gonna say Mithril. Alright, listen, that bit... Okay, that bit wasn't good to begin with and I didn't do myself any favors. Oh, what, did, did, the, did the stupid little shark get his head hurt? Did the stupid little shark hit his head on the wall there? Um, unfortunately, we can't cheese this like we cheese Sabor, but it's not a difficult fight by any by any means. Uh, it is a fight where you kind of want to get Arrow up though, because this guy hits hard. He's a chunky lunky, hunka chunka, monka lunka, dunka hunka funk. I kind of lost myself there. It, 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 it tends to happen. We're actually doing pretty good against this guy though. I mean, it's not like he's a particularly difficult boss but i mean i'm pretty satisfied with our results there no one died i, I took minimal damage I didn't, I didn't even need to use cure magic all right all right all right all right all right all right so we got something very important from this uh sunken ship and i say we go try it out why don't we uh there's also a cavern down here but i don't think it leads us anywhere and I also think it might not even be a true blue cavern. It might, nope. It just goes back to the undersea gorge. Okay, cool. Awesome. So then, <gasps> it's this. Yeah, okay, so the more astute people, I didn't really call it out, but there is an obstruction right next to Ariel's grotto for people who might've noticed that. And this is the best shortcut in the history of shortcuts right here. Look at that, we're right next to it. We're right back where we started. It's, it's amazing. And it's a little shortcut back to, uh, back to the shipwreck, I think. And Orichalcum. Ooh, how lovely. Yeah, it's uh, absolutely a shortcut back to the shipwreck. I don't think I've ever used this as I always go the other way. Wow, listen, listen. I knew it was there. Me brain just not working so good. I don't think I need to worry about saving just yet. We're playing very risky right now. I usually save like twice this much, but I think we're I think we're doing pretty okay right now. Things nothing catastrophic has happened, you know. Knock on wood. All right. So, oh, this looks kind of familiar, doesn't it? Hmm. I feel like I'm all over the place. But these always want to be in the best recording sessions. Ariel, you disobeyed me again. I told you not to leave the palace. Hang on, I gotta go clean my frickin' nose out. Stupid sinuses. Daddy, no! How could you? Young man, you're not from another ocean. You're from another world, aren't you? Huh? Then you must be the key bearer. Me? How did you know? You may fool it couldn't be the fucking key in my hand, could it? You don't know your dorsal fin from your tail. There's a difference? As the key bearer, you must already know one must not meddle in the affairs of other worlds. Yeah, but your shit fucked up, dude. I know that, but... You have violated this principle. I have violated it. I'm here to help deal with the people who are currently violating it. I'm the police right now. Oh shit, I'm the cops, everybody. Fuck. Saving my daughter. But there is no room in my ocean for you or your key. 
Well, geez. Thank you for being so accommodating, King Triton. Oh, boo-hoo, my daddy yelled at me, way. Life is so hard. The poor child suffers such deep sorrow. These skeezy fucks. If only there was so back in my mall rat days, I used to like live in FYE and there was always this album. I'm pretty sure it was a thrash metal band. Actually, I know what it is because I looked it up. Uh, but there was always this album. It looked so cool by a band called Flotsam and Jetsam. If I can find the album art online, I'll, you know, put it in the video in the editing booth. But uh, I never bought that album. It just, it always tantalized me. The album art was so freaking good. And I regret it because I think I listened to Flotsam and Jetsam like once or twice. And it was good shit. It's good thrash, dude. Which I'm not an authority to speak on thrash, but I'm a fucking... My music taste is so weird. To, it's so hard to nail down. It's... I don't, I don't feel like I have the authority to speak on any specific genre, personally. But still, I've always, uh... I've always... I, I've never been able to get that image out of my... That album art out of my mind, and I really regret not buying that album. I feel like it's one of those uh, crossroads moments where I chose one option, and it, it set me down a path of, uh... Completely different than if I had picked up the album and bought it one day. Although it was pretty fucking expensive. It was like 25 bucks for the album, dude. It was like a special edition or something. Like, come on. I'm, I'm not good with money, but even I know that's a bit much. That's a little bit too much. If you like what you see and you want to see more, like the video and hit the subscribe button. It's literally free and it's the best way to help me help you help me make better content.